Right here we go with my soldering station and we're going to put the T-SOP in by connecting the bridges. Let's go for it. What you're going to need is you're going to need some solder, some Q-tips or earbuds, a soldering iron and some flux. Where's my flux? There's my flux. And you're going to need a lot of luck. So we're going to show you this guide and hopefully get a good T-SOP. Right, here we go. What we're doing today is T-SOPing an Xbox and this part of the tutorial is bridging the R7D3 point. First from 1.0 Xbox. First thing we need to do is solder this bridge point here, which is the R7 D3. There's also one on the bottom board, but I'll show you that in a moment. Um, what we need to do is bridge this tiny dots here with a little bridge of solder. As you can see, it's smaller than the tip of a pen. Okay, and then on the bottom of the board, which I've flipped over now, okay, you'll see where the screen is pointing in the middle, where the pen is just about to go. The R7. R3 port, which is here. This one's even smaller between the pen. You can see that little trace coming off. There's a little capacitor just above, so you've got to be careful not to burn that off when you do the solder. Right, the first point of the exercise is to clean the board, get rid of all this kind of fluff and everything. First off, the way I clean the board is to get just a clean but large paintbrush it's got to be soft and just clean the board with it. Wipe off all that dust. And obviously on the other side as well. Okay, um, done that side. Now I'll do this side. As you can see there's dirt all over the place here. Just by brushing it, it will come clean. As you can see, the, uh, the gold clock cap here has got some kind of corrosion around these little guys here. You can see that? So I'm going to wash that down with a some little spirit. bit of isopropylene on a cotton bud or Q tip, as they call it in the States. What's the point to kind of solder? You can see that comes up clean straight away. Do the underside first. Right, clean the bottom of it as well. You can see how big the Q-tip is compared with the actual point when we want to solder. Clean around it as well so the solder can get on it. And while you're doing the isopropanol, do the clock caps as well. These are very dirty as here, so just uh, scrub them off. As you can see, they're filthy. It's probably stuff that was leaked out of the cap, and that's why it's not keeping the time now. I probably should remove the cap, because this stuff can be corrosive and kill your console. It's 15 years old, so we don't really want to be knocking them down and killing them off. Now, um, a little tip to try and find out what T-SOP chip you've got it's going to have that white sticker right in the middle of the chip so if you just remove it you'll be able to see what chip it is that's a ST what's that? M29F080A
Right, next part of this is to solder those points, and it is quite hard to do because they are so small. But what you need is flux, and you need a soldering iron, hopefully a variable power one. So I'm using this very old flux. This is from my granddad. He's been gone years, and this flux was his years and years before that. So maybe 30 years old for this flux. Probably actually not really meant to be used by now. Okay, it's time to start the solder process. First off, you get your flux out with a toothpick. Get some of the flux. With a toothpick, get some flux. Make sure you've got nothing else in the flux. And then just plonk it onto the pins. Next thing you need to do is take your soldering. Do it like that. Do you see it? It went off and then went back on again. Oh no, and now that bridge has just come off as you saw. Just dissolved it. It's getting a bit dry now with your flux. This small job can take a long time to do. I think that's it. My word, I think we got it. Just by pushing that across with a slightly cooler iron, I think that's gone on. I think that's actually across now. Let's test. Let's test it out. Okay, and on this one, I've coloured it red. This is front of the board. On the R7D3, and if you test from the red dot where I've put it, the connection point to the other side of the bridge where the red is, you'll be able to see if it's working as well. If it connects from the point above where the little hole is where it's red to the other side of the bridge you just made on the R7D3, then you'll know that that the one is also connected. Let's test it with multimeter. See that on there? It's on that pad. You can see we've got a good read. Okay, so that should be bridged. Right now it's the turn of R seven O three, and this is a toothpick. What I'm using, and it's here. R seven O three. You have to bridge this gap. Excellent. Right, for it with wire and yeah, she went on. I don't know if you saw that. But now the connection's gone on pretty well. You can see there's a tiny bit of solder sticking up now. But it's not sticking up very far.
yeah and that one's working too so I think we're good to go just triple check that take some pictures of the phone and see and make sure it was totally off take four okay when you've got the solder connection if you test it from the red points from your bit you just soldered on the underside of the board it is here to the outer port which is the other end of the trace which is here you receive a picture on the next screen then you'll see which ones you need to put your probe on if it connects from the top end of the port you just tried to solder to the bridge you just done then you know it's working Ok that's it, I've T-sopped it now um, by soldering the points on both the top of the board somewhere here and the bottom of the board somewhere, where is it, somewhere here um, let's go and test it Ok this is the first time we're switching this on after the T-sop, let's have a look it's on, don't worry about the noise Come up with the Xbox. So that's good, it's working. Come up with the 2016 dash. That seems to be pretty good. Gonna have to do something about that fan though. Right, let's go and put the actual T SOP flash in it. First off, you're gonna need the Hexen disc. Hey, look, hexen disc. It's hexen SE disc 2016, which I burned it. It's not from 2016. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get it from. What's the disc? That's just tight. This does take a few minutes to boot, so let's have a look in a moment. Okay, so there it is, um, the hexen disc. We're going to do the T SOP flash, option free. Okay, so we go into the instructions. It says this selection is designed for T SOP flashing and the soft mod Xbox flashing. Um, T SOP mod chip. T SOP flash, not wind bound. So we haven't got a wind bound chip, we've got an ST chip, which isn't a sharp chip. So what we're doing now is flash it. Right, so what we've got is option 2, which is this one. And it will flash a not a wind bond chip. So basically if it's a wind bond chip you'll need wind bond sharp flash. But what we want to do in this 1.1 .1 is to flash it with the TSOP not wind bound. And then obviously you get this option here. Use this to flash a non wind bound T SOP or mod chip. So we want to do that. And then it will just go across. Right, they come up with the Unleash X. Now we've got the Unleash X on there. We've got a 1 meg BIOS in here. Right, when you have options with this, it says if you're not, not sure or in doubt, choose 256k BIOS. But we know we've got a 1 meg BIOS, so we'll go for this one. So I'm going to select the 512k flash. <clears throat> and that's for 
Xbox versions 01 to 15. So what we're going to do is select that one. And when you get to this screen, choose your Xbox, um, choose your BIOS, which one I'm going to use the X25035 for F and G. And then it will do this. Press Y to flash. Let's see if this goes right. Let's see if the Xbox will boot afterwards. I don't know if it will. First time I'm doing this. But hopefully it will go right. I've done a lot of research into this and it seems what all we need to do is flash it. I don't, I'm not liking how that says flash type is the ST series fake duo X. Don't understand that bit. But we're erasing it. The Xbox will turn off. Oh dear. Right, let's reboot. Execute to live config loading. See if it'll load. Execute to rocks by box. There are thirteen service repair. Great. So we have an error 13, which is dash not found or something like that. Now we've got the Evo X. So that's now on TSOP. Right, after you put the TSOP in, you need to go back to Fix and Disk and select Clean C Partition after TSOP. After a while, it's going to clear everything out. Will this be the end of this Xbox? Or will this actually work? Now go and unlock your drive, I think. Okay, right now we're chimping the Xbox, which is which means it's copying the hard drive to the new hard drive. As you can see it's taking like seven minutes up there. You can just about see that. And it's going from the original drive which is to your right to the other one to the left right success formatted the whole lot my C drive went back onto C drive E drive onto E drive I've got my original mod from my original hard drive onto my new drive and as you can see it's working it's installing coin ops it's going to take ages Okay, it seems to work. Good stuff, but I've lost my 2016 dash. Okay, I've been searching around and it seems to have removed the Rocky disc. <clears throat> so, Rocky's 2016 soft mod, back in the disc tray, see what happens. Okay, let's go.